think I may need to put the light on. <laughs> it's not very bright, is it? So, I'm just sitting here in front of the stove. There's a storm outside. It's windy. There's rain falling. Um, got my gym jams on. I'm not going to stay up too late. I'm going to go to bed. Um, I really only wanted to make this video just to round off the day and to say thank you. To say an immense thank you to Angela Joy. Angela, I got your email today. I got your little message. And I am delighted. I'm delighted that you said what you said because it makes me feel that what I'm doing is really worthwhile and really good for so many people. Good for myself as well because, you know, <laughs> oh, look at these two. They're going to be a bit of a standoff. I hope not. I hope not. What's going on here? Beauty is sitting down beside Sammy. I think it's because, you see, these little furry people don't like stormy nights. Oh, look at them. Bless them. There's something so primitive, isn't there, about sitting around a fire? Yes, Angela, thank you so much because you sent me this lovely message along with a gift and the message really had me thinking about you today because I thought, well, I don't want to say too much because privacy is important for people, but it's, it was just uplifting for me to know that this little, this little place, this little sanctuary brings so much joy and pleasure and comfort to people. As it does to me. And these little, these little furry children of mine. All these little waifs and strays, they find their way home. And there are so many people who find their way to Beltona Cottage. And to my delight and eternal astonishment, it's becoming like a little, a little spiritual hub for so many people. And I was thinking about this today you know when I was just pondering on the words that Angela you know that you wrote to me and in the beginning this little place was forlorn and barren and wasted and there didn't appear to be any hope of bringing the three acres of Mother Earth here, back from the brink of something incredibly sad and final. And yet, it happened. She's now thriving and healthy and on this cold, stormy, wet and windy night is a little sanctuary. And not just for me and these little waifs and strays like Beauty found on the side of the road, Sammy Bear found as a kitten down well more or less on the side of the road as well but more towards the lake. Jack there brought back from the brink of 
hopeless depression. <laughs> Weren't you, Jack? Brought back from the brink of hopeless depression, he had been dumped and, and, and rescued by Leitrim Animal Welfare and Goddess Bless Christine, an absolute angel for so many unwanted animals. Her heart seems to be forever open. Um, But thank you, Christine, for Jack. <laughs> and here they are, my three little, my three little, I suppose in many ways they're like children because they're my family. I hope you can see enough in this light. Anyway, come round here, Jack. Come round to the fire. You sit there, yes. You sit there. So just a massive thank you. Thank you to Angela. Thank you for so many people who, you know, um, send such lovely wishes such good wishes and thanks and it's a fast expanding family isn't it this little tribe that we are we're a little tribe a little tribe of earth lovers earth carers An amazing little tribe of people. And I often wonder how many trees have been planted all over the world because of the little miracle that happened here. Could run into tens of thousands. Yes. Well, on that note, if I can possibly squeeze away from beauty <laughs> to go and make a cup of tea, or I might be very, very naughty and have a cup of hot chocolate. Hmm. Oh, that appeals to me, something dreadful now that I'm thinking of it. Hot chocolate. Sounds very sinful, doesn't it? Yes, I think hot chocolate is going to be. So on this stormy night, I hope all of you are warm and dry and as content as all of us here. Blessings. <laughs>